<laughs> Want to know how to follow live sports scores on your iPhone lock screen? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Clean Tech, home of daily technology news and interviews. And today we're going to be talking about how to exactly set up the live activities of sports scores on your iPhone lock screen. Today's video is brought to you by Clean Phone. We're in them at the end of the video. So since the introduction of live activities in iOS 16, you can use the new feature to follow real-time sports scores right on the lock screen so you don't miss a play. Let's jump right in. With iOS 16, Apple added a feature called Live Activities as part of a broader update to notifications and the lock screen. Live Activities are a little different from a standard push notification or widget. They offer a way for apps to put real-time information in a persistent notification bubble on your lock screen. They're especially useful for sports scores if you want to keep tabs on a game without committing your full attention to it. Uh, there are, after all, 162 games in a baseball season, so I maybe mean, not the best idea every single time. Better yet, if you have an iPhone 14 Pro or Pro Max, you'll see live scores in the dynamic island when you're following a game. So it's basically Apple's another take on the whole notifications game, if you will. Um, I mean, it, it is at the end of the day uh, gonna get classified as a notification, but you know, it, it goes a little bit deeper than that. Enabling live activities to follow a game on your lock screen isn't hard, but it's not exactly intuitive. The good news is that you probably don't even have to download an additional app to get started, so you're just a few taps away from keeping up with your team. As long as you have at least iOS 16.1 installed, that is. Uh, the following tests were made on the iPhone 13 mini and 14 Pro, both running iOS 16.4.1. So let's go ahead and jump into exactly how you would go about activating or enabling this. So to start, you'll need to make sure live activities can access your lock screen. To do this, go to settings, face ID and passcode and enter your passcode. Scroll down and make sure live activities is toggled on. So this is going to be the first option over here, face ID and passcode. And then on this screen, you'll make the next selection. Live activities right here. So Apple TV is on most iPhones by default as it is. So unless you've removed the app, you just need to find it and open it to start following a game. You don't need a paid subscription to Apple's TV Plus service either. You can use Apple's app to follow MLB, NBA, and the Premier League games. Support for others sports may follow, may not. So that, that is totally up in the air at this point. But those uh, that are available right now, you can go ahead and set them up. Here's how that works. Open the Apple TV app, enable notifications if prompted. Uh, tap the Watch Now tab at the bottom of the screen, uh, scroll down and tap Live Sports, and then find the game you wanna follow and tap to see more information. Okay, so I think, you know, just my two cents here really, but I think one of the key features that Apple could add to this is, you know, just start suggesting of uh, apps or sorry, the matches from, uh, you know, these apps, in this case, Apple TV as an example of your favorite game or your favorite team, you know, just like on the regular, kind of like a learning behavior of sorts, uh, like how, you know, YouTube suggests content. You don't necessarily have to subscribe to a channel and, you know, it still starts serving you relevant content. So maybe uh, that's the next step in this. I'm not so sure if that is, uh, you know, like, in the works or if it's in the books as far as Apple's plans go. But hey, definitely something to consider because uh, I mean, I think it's just going to be more convenient as opposed to like just going in the app every single time and opening up uh, every single game and then manually checking those uh, notifications on um, and, you know, setting up those alerts. I, I think it'd just be really convenient if Apple makes it so that actually starts happening automatically. Assuming the game you want to follow is underway, you'll see an option labeled follow. Tap this icon and when you leave the Apple TV app, it will appear on your lock screen. If you're using an iPhone 14 Pro or Pro Max, the score will also show up in the dynamic island along with two team logos. Long pressing the dynamic island will bring up an expanded view, including the last play if you want to see more. We actually have a screenshot of what that looks like. Uh, other games and then this is basically what it would end up looking like on your lock screen. There's also an optional setting you can check to make sure you're seeing the most up-to-date information available, though it might drain your phone battery faster 
you know, how apps or processes are allowed to continuously run in the background. This is exactly that. To enable this, go to your iPhone settings, then Apple TV, then live activities, and make sure the most frequent updates option is toggled on. Live activities, sports scores are also available from some third-party apps like the MLB app, and it will no doubt start appearing in more places as more developers take advantage of it. So yes, limited at first, eventually it's only plausible that this get, gets expanded through third-party apps in you know, pretty much every single direction out there. You wanna talk um, you know, seasonal football, you wanna talk basketball, you wanna talk soccer, baseball, whatever. You know, I I'm pretty sure it's going all the way in. But yeah, uh, it's a really cool take on notifications and uh, I think it's, you know, really convenient for, for people who actually don't want to invest the time and watch the whole game, but do want to stay on top of what exactly is happening in the game. I mean, just picking up your phone and being able to tell simply by taking one glance at the lock screen, I think that's, you know, hey, that's efficient. I'm just going to call it for what it is. But yeah, those are just some of my thoughts on it. Let me know yours down in the comment section below. Clean phone is the perfect phone for your kids because it allows you to manage everything on the phone remotely. It has tons of amazing features such as easily allowing you to pick and choose which apps and games your child can use, provides you access to active phone monitoring including SMS and phone call usage, allows you to control how long and how often your kids can use apps or the internet. You can even check their call and SMS logs including inbound and outbound calls and messages and it is the perfect way to manage their screen time. Check them out in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.